All right, we're standing out here in Epps, Alabama, dead center of one of Reach Incorporated's largest tract of land, 1,174 acres. Uh, if you can kind of get a view of where we at, <clears throat> a couple of months ago, this used to be a corn field. That corn has been harvested. It's been turned into silage for crop, for feed for the cattle. Uh, right now, uh, also for feed for the cattle, we turn around, after we harvested the corn, we turn around and we planted rye grass. Okay, and if you get a good shot of some of this, you can see the rye grass actually coming up. Uh, took a little, no, little longer than normal to come or to start sprouting out because we had a real bad drought here in Alabama. Uh, but right now, we got a little rain in the ground. The ground got a little moisture. So you can start seeing the grass starting to come up. You can actually see the rows of grass coming up across the hills. Um, this grass will it'll be good for feed for the cattle. It's going to also attract wild game. Uh, we have also leased part of this land out to some hunters. So um, that, that, that wild grass, that rye grass is going to attract wild deer, turkey, wild hogs. And on that note with the wild hogs, if you get a good look right down here, you can see some of the places where the, the wild hogs has been rooting up, and um, which is okay. That's okay, that just lets us know that they're here. And the, uh, the hunters like to see that. So uh, we've already, uh, the hunters has already killed about two or three wild hogs already this season. And, um, but that's what you got right here. Like I said, a couple of months ago, this used to be a corn field. Right now, we got rye grass, and this grass is gonna be used for feed for the cattle throughout the winter. All right, that wild hog, I don't know how many out there under the sound of my voice have had any uh, wild hog meat, uh, but it's a, it's a very good taste of meat, very lean. Uh, wild hogs, uh, unlike domesticated hogs, the meat is not greasy at all. Uh, uh, those of y'all that know what I'm talking about, if you eat, ever eat some wild hog sausage, uh, wild hog ground up uh, pork, you never want any of that store-bought stuff, domesticated hogs, no more. I love it. I love that. It's good for your high blood pressure. You know, those of you that got high blood pressure and try to stay away from pork, eating that wild hog meat, you don't have that problem. So uh, it's a good meat to have. Uh, hopefully this year we're going to try to, uh, hopefully we can market some of it and uh, start selling some of it. Uh, but it is a very good, healthy meat to eat the wild hog now what do the what does a wild hog eat uh the wild hog eat what god intended for it to eat they eat wild plants plants that's growing that's why you see them rooting in the ground they're going to find they know what to look for they find the minerals in the ground to eat unlike domesticated hogs you eat a lot of the same stuff we eat a lot of man-made products a lot of stuff that's been enhanced with chemicals and stuff that's why you, the meat is so greasy and fat but that wild hog, they eat wild stuff, wild plants, uh, wild grass, wild roots, all the stuff that they need to eat that God intended for them to eat. That's why the meat is a lot better. 